Okay, for an object to be in static equilibrium, the sum of forces acting on that object have to be zero. So basically, it can't be accelerating in any direction. Um, so if you, for example, if you look at this block M here that has a mass of M, we're going to have four forces acting on this. And we're assuming this is going to, these guys are going to be pushing on it, it's going to be hanging down here, and it's not going to move. So those four forces are, first of all, it's going to be its weight pulling down on it. Uh, this is weight, and we call that its mass times g, acceleration due to gravity. It's also to, to prevent this from flying down, it's going to have to have this rope pulling up on it, so we'll call this tension. And these two forces are going to balance uh, in the, the y direction, or the up and down direction. Now these two guys, in order for this block not to be moving, they have to be pushing straight into it, kind of straight through the mass center. Everything here will be acting on the mass center. And we'll call this maybe F1 and F2. And if F1 and F2 equal each other, pointing in opposite directions, then this isn't going to move. So what we can say is, we can say the sum of forces, basically for static equilibrium, the sum of forces has to be equal to zero. But more specifically, what we can do is we can say that the sum of forces in the x direction equals zero, and the sum of forces in the y direction equals zero. There's one more equation of equilibrium, but we'll not talk about it just yet. It's, uh, well, I guess it's worth mentioning, I'll say the sum of moments is equal to zero, about some point. But that's kind of, that's about torques and uh, would relate to this body rotating. Uh, but we don't worry about that just yet. We'll get to that in a couple of videos. So anyways, um, like I said, static equilibrium is basically the study of an object at rest. But this could also be moving at a constant velocity, because if you remember, we have Newton's second law that says F is equal to ma. Well, I said over here that F had the sum of forces has to be equal to zero uh, on this object, but this object definitely has a mass, otherwise it's not really an object. It has to have mass. So, in other words, if the mass can't be zero, then in order for the sum of forces to be zero, then the acceleration has to be zero. But if acceleration is zero, that means this object is either at rest or this object is moving at a constant velocity and not changing direction. Uh, for example, what if we um, what if we did this? Here, we'll, we'll draw some more lines like this. We'll put them in a box. Okay, bear with me for one second, and then maybe <laughs> we'll go like this. All right, maybe see where this is going now. Put some wheels on this. Now we're gonna say these guys are on the back of a truck. And uh, maybe maybe give the driver, maybe give the truck a driver, a steering wheel. Anyways, so now this truck, we'll say, has uh, some velocity is equal to V. Uh, now as long as this truck is going in a straight line, and not turning, not accelerating, you could see that this, you know, based on your own personal life, that this would still work. You know, if you're sitting in a car, it's not like if you hold something in your hand, it's gonna fly out of your hand. But if this truck slams on its brakes and it decelerates or it accelerates in the, in the leftward direction because it's decelerating, uh, then obviously these guys are gonna start flying all over the place and the system will not be in static equilibrium anymore. Which is what we'll talk about when we start studying dynamics. But for now, this whole this whole subject that we're looking at is statics. So we will be studying objects in static equilibrium, where the sum of forces will equal zero.